Yes, hi beautiful people. It's such an honor to always be in your company and then for you to welcome us to wherever it is, on your phone, in a taxi, at home, and just to share a few moments with you. It won't be long and I'm here with Tim Sabiti. It's my first time on this set and I must admit you're looking nice. <laughs> thank you. You look great. Set, you're beautiful. handsome. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You do all these things. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so um, there's uh, a group of ladies that shared the things that they would love to learn before the year ends. Mm -hmm. And uh, in January, we are going to do a challenge. We will introduce that to you. But before we introduce that challenge, we would want to tackle or handle some of those things that you feel you would, you, you would want to uh, ask to throw more light on or their myths and they need to be demystified. Mm -hmm. And you just need to know the facts and how to go about life. And today we handle uh, the issue about dating where ladies are asking themselves, how do I tell that a man wants to be with me for life? How do I tell they want me for marriage and not just for a fling or a short time or one night stand or just to fulfill their desires or just to be with me for a short while and then they move on to the next chick? Exactly. And everyone wants commitment, of course. Yes. Uh, several times we've talked about love, we've talked about commitment. It all begins with the love. Mm -hmm. But definitely anyone that you meet would want to know, mm -hmm. are you committed? Mm -hmm. Would you want to stay in for the rest of your life with me? Mm -hmm. Or you're just here for a time and then you'll go away. Yeah. So I think what they're asking is, how do I tell that a man is committing or he wants to commit or is serious about the relationship? Exactly. I guess that's so what it, it's not just about. about the love. Because anyone can like you, they can love you, but lacking the commitment bit of it. So you're saying the right thing to ask is, is this person willing to commit? commit. And um, I think there are times that what someone is willing to commit, but because of so many reasons, there's a reason as to why they can't commit. And sometimes people are willing to understand that they're like, you know what? He mm -hmm. tried his best. So mm -hmm. I think commitment is the long-term issue that keeps a marriage or a relationship going than just the love. Because exactly. some people don't even know what love is. Exactly. Exactly. We love, I mean, love is good. Mm. We enjoy to be loved. Yeah. We love to be loved. Yeah. But really, what really sticks out is the commitment. Mm. That I'll stay with the same man, I'll stay with the same woman, no matter what. Regardless, in goodness yeah. and in uh, hardships, yeah. you know, yeah. in all situations that will sit by each other, love each other through and through it all. Exactly. And I think that's what this lady in particular asking is about. asking. That how can I tell that this guy mm. wants to commit? Okay. Yeah, exactly. Now, one, mm. you will tell that a man is not committed, number one, if he cannot freely introduce you to the people that matter to him. Every time you bring up a question or a discussion about his family, his friends, he dodges it. He shrugs he it. He does not want mm. you to meet them because he's not in for the long term. And yet for those that love you, it's going to be like effortless. Yeah. It's going to be effortless for him to bring it to a party, where mm -hmm. they, to bring it to a family. Mm -hmm. to, sometimes he will even tell you, I'll not introduce you as my girlfriend, but I mean, people should know the person, the people in my life and my friends. So, you know, it's very effortless. It's not like they are trying to say, I don't want to introduce someone and then things don't work. And then uh, again, they will ask me about Hajara and then I'm not with Hajara again. So mm -hmm. it's really effortless if someone loves Usually you. Usually when someone is still in a confused state, he's mm -hmm. not so sure about his future with you. You, it's possible that he will tell you but you will read the genuineness mm. with which he speaks mm. you will tell that this guy is genuine about what he's saying maybe mm. you've been in that relationship for say about three months yeah. or six months it could even be a year mm. but he's still studying you he's still not so sure about the two of you mm. you know uh, you will be able to tell as a woman that I don't think is just dodging. Mm. The truth is, he's not so sure about me. Mm. You'll be able to tell that. Oh, he's now, coming from a bad relationship and he wouldn't want what happened. He's took, to yes, he's again. being too careful. Being careful. Now, th that's different. Mm. But there's this bit where someone just fools you mm. and you can't tell that he's actually fooling you. Mm. You know? Every time you bring up the discussion, he enjoys everything about you mm. apart from... Mm. Meeting friends and loved ones and family and family. Yeah. When you when it's the a, people that matter. When it's a party, mm. when it's a party where you're socializing with fellow friends at work, he will go with you. Mm. If it's a birthday party for his sister who is brother, he's careful to take you. And sometimes he will not and even he, tell you. Uh, you yes. will discover. You will find out later. Yeah. If it's about um, uh, uh, 
a wedding mm. you a family, know, a family wedding a family a family occasion or mm. event or function mm. it deliberately does not involve you even when you prepare yourself want. to show up he shows you that he frustrates those exactly mm. he is not just sure about you mm. but it's possible that he does not want you okay okay interesting interesting so if he cannot introduce you um and you feel it's not genuine it's not that you've just started and so you you should be mm. able to you know uh know that there's something that is not wrong uh, yeah. is, is not right mm. and i think there's something else that people have uh, actually complained about for the last bit of the year as in when a man tells you that you know oh i stay at my auntie's place i stay with two of my sisters you know i stay with my sister's children and so i can't take you home and then they end up seeing you in a lodge somewhere in a hotel somewhere or in a car or in an office mm -hmm. and everything ends uh, ends there and some of the ladies are really i don't know whether i should call it naive or just not detecting enough because most of them will tell you it's been a year and he's been giving me the same story about him staying with the sisters and i can't know where he stays i even don't know where he stays uh, and others do not even give you the excuse of his staying with a sister he'll mm. come out straight and tell you i cannot allow you at my house mm. I'll tell you when I can allow you to come to my house mm -hmm. as a must. And by the way, this is two ways. It's yeah. not only for the, lady, for the guys, it's even, even the, the ladies, ladies. Yes. where you have this girl that you love so much, mm. you really love the girl, but she has never allowed you Every to time know, you want to escort them, they find a yes, reason for you to, to know what, stop yeah, To know where she stays. Or even if you try to, it does mm. not allow you to, to get in. Mm -hmm. Well, for the first one, two, three, four, five months, probably, it mm. might be understandable, but you've gone into a year. He, she knows everything about you. She, mm. She's been to your house endless times. Mm. And uh, you trying to get to her house, and not for a sleepover, but just to know. Mm. Obeda wa, to obeda nani. Mm. And she, she, she's deliberately pushing you away. It mm -hmm. also speaks volumes. Yeah. Yes. So, there um, may be another person th those, in yes, life. Yes, yes those are signals. Mm. Those are signals to show you that I'm not in this yeah. for the long. I don't mm. think you're the right man or mm. the right woman or something. And then there are others, when they step up to the occasion of allowing you to come, then they give you the rules of you can only come if I call you. You can never come to my place without me calling Uninvited. you. Yes. Uninvited. Yes. Then she, she or he is being protective. Of something. Of something. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay and then there's something else that i thought about because if someone is going to commit i think commitment is stated is tested in the worst of the moments mm -hmm. and that is after the honeymoon phase mm -hmm. after you know you've had the butterflies after you've had the chemistry after you've had the love you've gone out for drinks you've done all those things and then what happens after three months when the honeymoon gets over and the reality sets in that you want to talk about the, the children you want to talk about a few things that would really matter to a people who want to settle for a long time and maybe that uh, blindness has gone and you know but all of a sudden they can see all your pimples they can see how uh, the shape of your body and everything your breath and and all and all those things and i think that even when it comes to that part a person that is committed mm -hmm. it does not waver mm -hmm. they do not shake Mm. They do not look at something and say, no, they feel like this is it. Mm -hmm. There is no one that is wholly perfect. Uh, I mean, in, in the world, everyone mm -hmm. is flawed. I am also flawed, mm -hmm. but I am so honored to have her in my corner. Exactly. I'm so honored to have him in my exactly. corner. So if you see a person has taken time and they're still a person of their word, mm -hmm. how they met you, they still are. Maybe mm -hmm. but they are committed in the mm -hmm. real sense of commitment. Mm -hmm. I really think that person wants a long term. Exactly. And you can see it. You can feel it as a in woman. Actions, yes. yes, you can feel it as a woman that is in for the long term. Mm. Okay, just like you said, after the romance time, mm. then we start setting pace for the future. Mm. When we start setting pace for the future, we talk about the things in the long term. You even start fighting. We we uh, exactly mm. and, and you and you know those fights also mean a lot. They actually, do. actually, I was talking I was talking to uh, to a couple that mm. that um, I was I was trying to help them. You know, mm. they were preparing themselves to to get married. Mm. Mm -hmm. How does she react in mm -hmm. I was like, I've never. Like, you try it one of these days. Mm -hmm. You see how she reacts. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know? Um, Better, it, it means a lot. Yes, disappoint her. Mm -hmm. At least at least then you know how she uh, she handles herself or how she will handle mm -hmm. the situation, you know? Mm -hmm. Obviously, uh, don't go to the extremes. Mm -hmm. Do it with a bit of wisdom. Mm -hmm. And after she that... her true colors. Exactly. She... 
you could you not check yeah, it. exactly mm-hmm. exactly and that's where i was going some people so the, the fights <laughs> the, the fights here also mm-hmm. tell a lot about the future mm-hmm. so just like you say that you know after the romance when you were setting pace for the future there, there are a bit of fights mm-hmm. uh, disagreements mm-hmm. you will talk about f- t- four children and she's talking about one mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. you're talking about a house for you to live. She says she wants an apartment in a certain place mm-hmm. that costs a certain amount. Yeah, that she cannot. Uh, oh, she wants to live with we, her extended family. We've heard that. Yeah, where but where the girl says, you know, I cannot live in any other place apart from Uyenga, from, from, from Kololo. Kololo or yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. exactly. Mm-hmm. And the guy is like, I don't think I can afford the apartments in those areas. Uh, now you say. are setting pace. Mm. For the future, mm. you're talking about the future, and that's and, the beginning and, period. And, and that beginning period, mm. you know, um, yes. you understand, sets a few things like into, so and you're like, you know. I don't think I'll be able to handle this. Much mm. as she has 70% of the qualities, or he has 70% of the qualities that mm. I need in a man or in a woman, mm. I don't think I'm walking the right path. I don't think it's sustainable. Exactly. I don't think it's where I would want to be. And now, I, after the romance period, mm. where it's all about butterflies, where it's all about um, fireworks, anything that stinks smells nice, mm-hmm. you know, after that, then we settle. Mm. Now, settling, the reality. settling now means reality, mm. where you will take out your one room or two bedroom apartment. Mm-hmm. You understand now that and that's what you can afford. See if she can accept you for that. Mm. See if he can accept you for that. Because that's you. Yeah. You understand? Mm. Okay. That's you. That's the real you. You know. Um. After that, then. Mm. Me staying in one bedroom apartment mm. or one room mm. and sleeping on a bed of me to does not, not an mean well, it's, it's a not an apartment, it's a kazigo, sorry. <laughs> now me staying in my kazigo, mm-hmm. one room mm. does not Go mean that that's that's what defines me. Yeah. It's possible that I'm there, but mm-hmm. I speak. You have the ability and I sell my vision. And, yes, yeah. when I was quanering my woman. <laughs> yes. I know. <laughs> I sell, you I were in a kazigo. Yes, I was mm. in a kazigo, but mm. what I did was to sell the future to you. Yeah. And it is the future that really matters. I spoke mm. with boldness and yeah. with the confidence, and I lived 10 years ahead of me. And, you in my, and I was there, mm. and I believe that's where I was going. Now, mm. when you speak that and she's able to buy into it, then you're seeing a future. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, you then you get into the beginning period. You're like, uh, will I handle this? Will I manage this? Will I? Yes. And I think that is where we go into the requirement and the requests. Mm-hmm. The difference between the requirements. Because if something is a requirement, it's a deal breaker. Mm-hmm. If it cannot happen, then that cannot happen. Exactly. If you, you, your deal breaker is you want a certain house and if that mm-hmm. does not happen. If your deal breaker is you want monogamy and this person says, me, me, I'm exactly. for polygamy, then you know that is a deal breaker. Exactly. So I think that how you tell that someone wants you for a long haul mm. is your requirements mm. you feel they are considerate about your requirements mm. one thing i liked about hilda was uh, uh the food she, she makes very nice food <laughs> Yeah. She does. I now, do very good food. I told her I will never eat in a restaurant. And uh-huh. she knows it. Mm-hmm. Because I ate in restaurants for the longest time. Name before. And he takes me out to eat and then I he comes back home to eat. eat. Mm-hmm. You know, but that's bro- beautiful. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, 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 by the way, mm-hmm. you know you have to talk about all this. Yeah. You have to talk about it. Mm-hmm. Because now, that's the future. Mm-hmm. It's possible you can bring a woman home yeah. who will never cook for you. Who so he takes you? care of my need that you know I need to hang out, I need to drink, I exactly. need to eat. I'll buy all the ice cream. Everything. I'll do all, all. <laughs> But I have to eat my food at home. Yeah. I like kalo. Mm. I must eat my kalo at home. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> And that and, and I think that is where you know the, the win win comes in where you take care of each other and yeah. you are loyal to each other, exactly. respectful of your needs, exactly. and know that that is a requirement for him, and I'm not going to deprive him exactly. of that, and that is a requirement for mm-hmm. her, I'm not going to deprive her of that. Oh, I'm not going to accept for the sake of accepting that mm-hmm. when we get there, I'm going to flip and change scripts and mm-hmm. change colors. That you know what, I accepted before I got you, but after I, I got you now, I no longer want to do now, it. 
Another one that's really important, the freedom mm -hmm. around you, around each other. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been in a relationship, even if it's not even a, a love relationship, but mm -hmm. where you're tense, where you're walking on, on eggshells. Egg you, you have to think twice you have before to calculate you oh. all your steps. You have to no. be so careful. You're like, you're about to lose him or she's, he's about to lose her. Or oh, he's just it's, about to get a mistake, you know, to catch you doing something. <laughs> you just, uh, have you ever, we usually put children to sleep. Do you know how you tip toy when you're yeah. Walking away from a child, yes. and you don't want them to wake up. Some people are in relationships that are like exactly. that, and you can't maintain that. For you a can't. Long it you can't, can't be. It can't happen in the long run. It's not just boring. In a it's a lot of work. Worse. It's practically oh, impossible mm. if you are being too careful yeah. in that relationship. Yeah. Take two steps back. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm. and, and uh, negotiate with yourself. Exactly. Is this what you're signing up for? Uh -huh. Could like be finances. Talker? Could be about your friends. You have to edit. Where were you? Who? <laughs> you know what were you doing with who and stuff like that. And then you have to edit. That means you have to have so many white lies and lies and lies and lies. So you're accumulating lies instead of having the freedom. Exactly. And I think I posted something on Twitter some time back that said that marriage has to be the biggest field of freedom mm -hmm. instead of being a cage where you feel tied up. Mm -hmm. You cannot enjoy if you're mm -hmm. in a cage mm -hmm. because then you're admiring other single people. Outside, and yeah. just like Everything usually outside, say, yes. the people outside are admiring to coming come into in, marriage, yes. but they're well, in marriage who are you want, you and want they're like, I wish out. I could be single again. And marriage is the most beautiful institution mm -hmm. that God mm -hmm. ever created. So the freedom around the two of you speaks a lot about your future. Oh, yeah. You know, when to be you, yourself, yes, to be able to enjoy mm. your relationship and your marriage freely to without dream your being, dreams, yes, yes, without being coerced, forced, mm. you understand. Mm. And then, uh, there's something else that I posted some time back where I talked about you mm. second guessing yourself almost on everything, mm. most especially if you have these questions, mm. love related questions. Mm. Yeah, and love related questions, even if it's a woman, mm. you know, that place where you have to convince yourself to mm. be in love, mm. where you're giving yourself one more reason to stay in, mm. it, or you're it, saying that the devil you know is better than the angel, uh -huh. you don't but know. You're, you're consoling giving yourself, yourself all those excuses to stick to in stay, there, mm. to stay. Mm. Yes, no, where will I find a better one? Let me stick in here. Yeah, mm. I know I was told, let me stick in here. You know, all men are this, let me stick in here. I'm buried there, yeah, let me stick in. There. Mm, you know, mm, is mm. you know, you're finding reasons to stay. Yeah. Not because Omoagala, not because you would really want. You're fighting with yourself. You're bargaining with yourself. You don't. You, you don't want that. And no side wins. And let because me tell today you, you're like you're, you're you're like on a weighing scale. Let me tell you, mm. the day you see something better, mm. you will not even think twice. Yeah. You Your mind out. will be tired exactly. without knowing. Exactly. Mm. So I, I think there's so many. There's so there's many so things many, that we could talk about. But you can about. be able to tell that a he's person not that in. Loves you for a long that home. guy is not in. Mm. You can be able to tell that that girl is not in. And you that understand? takes me back to the friendship bit. Friendship is a huge thing. Yeah. It is a huge thing. Mm -hmm. And I think we've usually talked about the five pillars of a good relationship mm -hmm. as being respect. Yeah. If someone re re respects you and exactly. you respect them, yeah. someone is your friend, yes. they have your back. Exactly. Someone you is loyal yeah. to you. Mm -hmm. And someone is accepting of you. Yes. Is not marrying you short and then all of a sudden they want you to become tall. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. Not marrying you oh, without yeah. a certificate or a degree oh, and all of a sudden oh, a they big fear. Bam. Oh, yes, and yes. then all of a sudden they want, they it. want it. And, and you know, color, mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. have Change yes, colors color, for others. Yeah. Yes. So uh, a person that is accepting and then a person that is committed. So mm. those are the main five. If yeah. you don't see them in a relationship, then just know it's, it's it's not going to last. Yeah, exactly. It's just not going to last. Okay, mm. and we will end it here. But if you have more questions, you know where to get us. Bahati Hilda Sabiti and then Team Sabiti. Get to us. Let us know what you would love to learn. We want to make uh, uh, this year up to end it in style and start a better year next year and to live the best version of ourselves okay from us to you is up bye bye